Hi, I'm Bill Carter, Director of Fire EMS Business Services for Civic Federal Credit Union. As the strategic partner of the North Carolina Association of Fire Chiefs, Civic would like to thank the association for providing this opportunity to, to discuss some of the services Civic can provide to members of the North Carolina Fire Service. As most of you know, Civic, a digital first online credit union, launched in late 2018 to meet the ever-growing demand from our members for mobile and digital banking services. As we were planning Civic, we wanted to make sure that we offered programs that had not been available through LGFCU. So to that end, we have built a true small business lending program and are offering business deposit services to our members. I'm happy to have two great co-workers with me today, Mr. Howie Gottschalk, who is our business development manager, and Mr. Chris Temple, who is our Vice President of Member Engagement. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning, Bill. It's good to have both of you here today to give us some insight into Civic's new business lending program and to discuss Civic's consumer credit and deposit services and how digital banking can help our members gain control of their finances anytime or anywhere. Howie, I want to start with you this morning. Uh, I know over the years since I've been here, we, we had a lot of requests for commercial lending and we had to refer those out to banks and, and credit unions. Um, what was the rationale behind Civic joining the small business arena at this time? Uh, well, uh, Bill, as you had mentioned before, um, you know, LGFCU had serviced volunteer fire departments for many, many, many years. Within those volunteer fire departments, you have firefighters that do have small businesses mm -hmm. um, on the side. Mm -hmm. And one of the main reasons Civic was uh, born was because of those requests. Mm -hmm. If we wanted to service and do service volunteer fire departments, we absolutely also want to be able to service the members of those fire departments, the firefighters, um, and their small businesses as well. Um, and that's really where it spawned from. What type of small business loans is Civic offering at this time, just out of the gate? What type of uh, programs do they have? So we're, we're offering um, really a full gamut of uh, products and services, uh, anywhere from standard term loans, and that could be vehicle or equipment loans, uh, lines of credit, credit cards, mm -hmm. um, all the way to commercial real estate loans, and that is um, owner-occupied and non-owner-occupied loans. Um, and right now, we're actually running a promotion um, for two of those product types, one being um, on the vehicle equipment. Um, and these are rates, I mean, in today's environment, as low as 3.99 on, on, the, on the vehicle and equipment, and the commercial real estate piece on owner-occupied as low as 3.5. Uh, could you tell our members what the small business loan, pro loan process looks like and what's involved? and generally how long the loan process usually takes from start to finish. And I know they're all different. They all have their own lives, but. Absolutely. Um, really to, to sum it up, um, we wanna get to know you, the business owner. You know, and that is our first and foremost piece of the process. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the, the loan itself, we have an online application. We make it really simplistic for you to go on, fill out the information, attach the documents that we need. Um, we then transition to the underwriting and, and stage and, and so forth to the closing. This process can take anywhere from a, a simplistic loan, we'll call it two to three weeks, to more of the, on the real estate side where there's more variables that could take anywhere from you know, 30 to 60 days, just depending. Where could a member find more information on small business lending with Civic and what do they need to do to begin the process if they need a commercial loan? Sure. So you can simplistically go to Civic's website. That's civicfcu.org. We have a business tab. You can request information. You can search product uh, information and service information there. Uh, you can simply just send an email right from that website. Um, it will actually come to me. Uh, I will respond. We'll talk. Um, and we can go from there. Uh, Chris? Thank you for being here. Uh, I know that your focus is now on membership growth. Could you tell us about any other deposit accounts or financial services 
being offered for consumers or small businesses at this time by CIRIC. Thanks, Bill. I appreciate the opportunity. Um, Bill, we offer deposit services for both consumers and for businesses throughout folks who work in the state of North Carolina. Um, so this would include on the business side, you can have money market accounts, you can have checking accounts, savings accounts, what we call shared term certificates, um, which are actually CDs, mm -hmm. uh, as well as uh, mirroring the same thing on the, business, on the member side. So we offer a full gamut of deposit services for both consumers and for uh, any kind of business here in the state of North Carolina. What would be a minimum deposit required to open a civic consumer account and a, uh, a business account, if you would? And are there any fees involved with, with those accounts? Sure, I'll take the first part of that question, or second part of that question first. There are no fees uh, in banking with Civic, uh, short of a paper statement fee. But at the time of account opening, you can sign up to receive an electronic statement, uh, which does print as a PDF. So there are actually no fees in banking with Civic. Uh, as far as who can join Civic, uh, membership is open to people who work similar to local government, federal credit union, who work for the municipalities and counties, or who volunteer for municipal, municipalities or counties in North Carolina. Um, we also take volunteers to join Civic. So you can actually be a person that works in another area of the state uh, and volunteer to work for Civic. And we will then accept you as a member. Chris, what's the uh, minimum deposit requirement on both consumer and, and, and commercial deposit accounts? Uh, yes, there are different minimums on each account, but uh, the main thing you have to know is that on money market and shared term certificates, the minimum deposit is $500. The minimum opening ba balance on any checking account is $5. Does Civic have, yet have a small business credit card program up and running? Yes, it is. And that's one of the best ways that uh, consumer or commercial members can take advantage of Civic's uh, lending is by choosing that corporate credit card option. What's the main excuse you hear from nonprofits for them not wanting to move to Civic to take that chance? I think the number one reason is that Civic does not have any branches. And I think that leads people to the conclusion that um, Civic doesn't have people that are there to help them. Um, but what I'd like to say in rebuttal to that is that we have the same dedicated staff behind the scenes here in Raleigh uh, that we've had since we started in November of 2018. Uh, you will always be able to reach someone who can help you for Civic during business hours, Monday through Friday, 8 to 6, um, by calling and utilizing our Experience Center. Um, you also have the same people, uh, including the commercial lending team, Howie and myself, who are always able to help a member. And uh, in the coming months, will be more visible as we get through the pandemic and into the next year. I know you're excited about this, but can you tell us about the MyScore Plus feature for consumers that y'all just rolled out? Yeah, so MyScore Plus is a really neat feature that we've rolled out for consumer accounts. When you log into your online banking, you'll see MyScore Plus in the top right of your uh, home screen. And what MyScore Plus does can give you a snapshot of your credit score at this minute, um, as well as offer some advice on uh, debt consolidation um, may offer you some advice on uh, any other financial wellness topics. But it's a very good resource for our membership because it shows your credit score lifetime. Um, gentlemen, on behalf of the association and Civic, thank you for your time this morning. For more information, please find it at www.civicfcu.org or better yet, just give us a call at 844-77-CIVIC. Thanks and y'all have a great day.